Hey, what's up guys, it's Cube Encoded, and for the most part, magnetic cubes are very expensive, but this cube isn't, so this is the Z Magnetic Cube, and basically, it's an MF3RS with magnets. So this cube is $14 from speedcubeshop.com, 56mm, and has the old Moe stickers. To set up this cube, I put some weight sticks inside the pieces, and loosened it to my liking, and now this cube is seriously good. I honestly have no major problems with how this cube performs. Now, I do have some problems with some other aspects of the cube, but as for the turning itself, it was almost up there with Flagship 3 i 3s So this feel is smooth and crunchy like the normal m 3 rs but with the magnets, the cube doesn't overshoot at all, and the cube is overall much more stable. That being said, I really don't notice any magnets when I'm solving. The magnets just improve the performance without me realizing, so that's pretty neat. The turning is also quite heavy, and the cube isn't as fast as you may think. In fact, it's a bit sluggish even when I broke in the weight 6, and although I would prefer the turns to be more effortless, this helped me with look ahead because I was turning slower, and it also made the cube extremely controllable, which almost completely stopped me from getting catches, so this was very helpful for my last layer because I didn't walk up at all. So overall the turning is really good. I get almost the same types as I do with my GTS 2M, but you have to remember that the cube itself without the magnets was $5, so this cube will feel fairly cheap. So even though I would always prefer solving on something like a GTS 2M because it just feels better, I almost get the same types with the two cubes. Now here's my problem with the cube, the magnets fall off. So right when I got the cube, a magnet was already off and I had to open the piece and super glue the magnet back on. Then the next day as I was solving, another magnet fell off and I had to super glue it again. Now even though it only takes like 2 minutes to solve the problem, it still is a problem and if you don't have super glue, you're basically screwed until you get super glue. <laughs> so my biggest recommendation is if you're going to be getting this cube, make sure you get some super glue as well. As for some other aspects of the cube, the cube never pops, it never corner twists, the stickers look good, uh, they're really durable even though I prefer the half bright shades, and overall it's just a really good puzzle, it turns amazingly and although it does have problems that set it below flat three threes, I recommend this cube, especially just so then you can try out a magnetic cube for the first time. But before I sum up this review, you still have to remember that this cube isn't that cheap. It's not like a budget cube that's only $5, it's a budget magnetic cube, so it's still $14, which makes it like not even that far away from something like a Valk or a Waylong GTS 2, which I would say are better than this cube because of the superior unboxing experience and the fact that it just feels more premium. So I wouldn't get this cube if I were you if you're just looking for a good 3 3 I would only get it if you you're looking for your first magnetic cube and you just wanted to try it out. Once again, this is a really good cube that performs really amazingly, but it does feel cheap. And I would recommend you get a slightly more expensive 3 x 3 that doesn't have magnets than a really cheap feeling 3 x 3 that does have magnets. Now I decided that I'm going to be doing a rating system, so I'll just be giving this cube a grade, and this cube gets in A-. minus. It's really good at doing what it's supposed to do, which is giving a magnetic cube for a lower price. Anyways, that's all for this video, and I'll see you guys in the next one.